Hey, it's Fade. Uh, while I was trying to figure out how to fix my game, I uninstalled, reinstalled, and got the new player experience. So let's uh, let's take a look at what that looks like. Because I just realized a lot of people are probably playing this game with shitty graphics, and it must suck. So first of all, you can't make your uh, window any bigger, right? And it launches in windowed mode, which is just aggravating as all hell. And so we go through this startup screen. You have no idea how many times I've seen this today. <laughs> but this game is, it trolls you when you try to fix the graphics, if you don't know how, you, how to do it. If you're not familiar with the, um, the file paths and stuff of Unreal, there, it'll go up after that. But anyway, you're in this window, okay? Normally, if you don't know that you can do this, you're in this window. And you click play. I'm going to crash after a few seconds of being in town, probably, but it'll be enough to show how bad this is. And after that, I won't need to go back into town until I show you the fixed results. So this is fuzzy as shit. And yeah, somebody in chat just said, so the game is capped at 62 FPS no matter what. Um, the answer to that is yes, and it's actually related to what I'm doing right now, so I'll explain it real quick. There was a glitch in this game where uh, if you uncapped your FPS in your game user settings file, basically they had animation speed linked to uh, FPS, and so if you were getting high FPS, you would um, be able to attack very quickly and kill anything like within seconds. So obviously that was exploited, and that's one of the reasons that there was a wipe. Okay. That, um, yeah. I never used it, but I, I know some people did, and... It was definitely a game changer. Anyways, yeah, this looks fuzzy and totally shitty. I'll come back to that FPS thing in a minute, but I just don't like this. It's, it's garbage. I can't believe somebody could play like this, right? If any of you are, uh, man, you have my fucking respect. I, it, it, this is bad. So I can't believe I haven't been kicked out yet, but if you want to fix it, you're going to go to Options, Video, okay? And I'm going to tell you something right now. This is not going to fix it. I'm just going to show you why it's not going to fix it. First of all, if you want to change your resolution, you cannot do it in windowed, borderless, or full screen. You have to change the resolution first and then switch the mode. All right. So if you want a certain resolution, go to windowed mode, change your resolution, then switch back to windowed, borderless, or full screen. Next up, you cannot change your resolution scale unless you're in windowed borderless or full screen. This needs to be at 100%. Okay, I'll show you what kind of difference that makes right away. Okay, so I'll turn it down again. It starts at 95% by default. Look how fuzzy this gets. Okay. And now it's not as fuzzy. Magic. That's part of the problem. It's defaulted and it's fuzzy when it's default. And people just skip over this because they don't know what it is. I don't like motion blur. I turn it off. VSync. I turn this off because it has the potential to create input lag and being an FPS player in general, uh, I don't like input lag. However, if you don't know what this is and you're not super hardcore about you know gaming in general, like you're just a casual player, a few milliseconds, by the way, literally a few milliseconds of potential input lag is all we're talking about here. Don't bother with this. On top of that, what VSync actually does is lock your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate. I don't want to get all tucky about it because I'm not exactly sure how it works, but that's what it does. And if any of you guys have over a 60, a 60 or higher refresh rate, you're not going to benefit from having VSync off right now, except for maybe some input lag lost. Like some, it's good to lose input lag. Anyway, and that's because, like I said, the game is locked at 60 because of those previous issues. If it could go over 60, everybody would be killing things in a few seconds. So at the moment, this really doesn't do much. Now, as far as graphics quality, all you can do is choose low, medium, high, or epic, or auto. You can't change any of these outside of that. Okay? If I apply this, auto takes me all the way to high. If I'm in epic, and I try to make something low or high or whatever, it makes everything epic, all right? There's no option to just custom. 
which is why you're going to have to get a little complicated if you want your game to look good. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. All right, so if you put your game all in Epic and stuff and you like it, that's fine. You can stay there, okay? But if you want it to look better, or at least in my opinion better, stick to the video and you will have that no problem within a minute or two. I will put a file to download in the description if you don't want to, like, type all this stuff in, but it's not very much typing. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to app data. So I'll, I'll close this out and here we go. You're going to go to app data, local, Archon. All right. Now you're going to go to saved config windows client game user settings. This is what we did just now. Okay. So these are all my current settings in game. These are the settings that you want to have. All right. And what these stand for is zero is low. One is medium. Two is high. Three is epic. These are all threes because it wouldn't let you do anything else. It made you choose all one thing. This was what this is what the game currently is. This is what my settings are and it does work. So it's View distance, epic, anti-aliasing, low, shadow quality, epic, post-processing, low, texture quality, epic, effects, epic, foliage, epic, blah, blah, blah. That right there is the main change that I made. I didn't do anything super crazy in here, but what will happen if you do this and then just save it, right? So I'm going to close this, then I'm going to save this. No problem. It's there. We're good. If you just try to play the game right now, it's going to take it back to the old setting, okay? Actually, it'll take it back to medium, because that's what it's set to right now. That one is, or, yeah, that one is the medium. So if, if I were to launch my game right now, these would all be ones the next time I came in, all right? That's just how it would be. But if you right-click and go to Properties and set as Read Only, click Apply, Close that. Read only. You're good. Or you can just click OK and it'll close itself after you set it to read only. Like, like that. Right? And then you click play. Alrighty. Notice there's no preset listed here. It's just not there. It's empty because the game doesn't know how to handle this. It, it's it's a custom preset and it doesn't have a name. Then notice these are all different now. Okay? Don't mess with them. If you do, you're going to have to restart your game to get this back. Alright? But because it's read-only, you can just restart and it'll reset. Okay? If you ever want to change these for real... You're going to have to go in and make your file not read-only, all right? So let's go back, back, and play and see how this looks. All righty. Look at that. There's no fuzz. It's all gone. I can see people. It's amazing. Looks beautiful. This is how I've been playing the game. My games always look like this. From day one, because I knew it was an Unreal game, I knew where to find my game user settings, I knew that I could set it to read only. It's just stuff that I've picked up over years, but... 
a lot of people don't know that, and I realized after relaunching the game, holy fuck, this is awful, and people need to not play this this way. Hope the video is helpful, and hopefully I'll be able to get back to playing in... I don't know, a day or two. Hope I don't have any idea. Anyways, uh, peace out.